knows a thousand people. That's, that's the statistic. When I first heard that, I thought, that is crap, I've got four mates. But when I actually thought about it properly, I have 950 LinkedIn connections, I have 400 clients, and I've got four mates. So when I add that up, I exceed the thousand. So it's a guarantee that I know someone that pretty much most of you in this room could help. But if you don't ask me, it's unlikely you're gonna get the referral. It's also been proven, Harvard Business Review did a study on this, on referrals. They actually say that 90% of customers would happily refer. Only 10% of people ask. Think about that. 90% would be delighted to refer. Only 10% ask. Why do your team not ask? And I take it if they're in the 90%. Sound desperate, nervous, scared of what the person's gonna say? Laura had the perfect opportunity to ask. She just didn't think about it until I told her, and funny enough, she got two referrals. Two guys on Mike's trading floor were thinking about moving. You've just got to ask. That would have been world class. It's the little things that make the big difference. Are your team sending out a congratulations card? Not a Christmas card that every agent sends out, a congrats card that's different. Are they spotting every opportunity? Are they getting them to meet them in the office before they go out on viewings? Because I know, I know when I started working with agents 10 years ago, everyone said, oh, I meet at the property, it's easier. It is easier, but now you're the same as every other agent. Surely if they come to my office, because my office looks smart, I'm gonna build better rapport. I'm different to every other agent. I'm gonna make you a lovely coffee. I'm gonna talk to you on the way to the property in my clean car, or we're gonna walk and I'm gonna give you a branded umbrella for you to take away. We're gonna to walk to the property and I'm gonna find out about you, your business, what you do. And I'm gonna show a genuine interest. When I do that, who's gonna be remembered more? When I ask you for a referral, I'm more likely to get it because you like me, you remember me. It's the little things that make the big difference when it comes to being world class. Think about Laura's call if we dissect it for a second. The, mo the main conversations I hear in the 3,000 negotiators I work with is, Oh, hi, Mike, yeah, can I just register you? Applicants hate that, it's painful. They think oh, I was gonna take forever, which we know it doesn't. Can I register you? But Laura said, my name's Laura, who am I speaking with? Mike, in case we get cut off, what's your best number? Now I've started to register you. What did she ask next? Who recommended you to ex estates? Not how did you hear about us? Now I've got the source of the inquiry and I've given the perception that everybody recommends us. I used that question 10 years ago when I set my company up. My first inquiry, which came three days later due to Google AdWords, I said, oh, who recommends you to the sales doctor? I know no one could have, I was brand new. But irrelevant, they didn't know that and it gives the perception we always get recommendations. Some of my clients have taken that further and their strap line on their business card is by referral only. So now when you deal with them, I'm dealing with, you know, you're part of the elite that I deal with.